Hey everyone. So I just um, had been really wanting to, to save our readings for in the evening time because it starts to get dark outside and it makes my little Halloween setup just kind of pop more. But, and I'm still going to do that, but like I just was getting pulled so strongly to do um, a message now. Um, I don't know what kind of message is going to come out. Um, I wasn't getting any kind of clear idea of what type of reading this was going to be. And um, I'm telling you, like, my whole, like, sunroom area that I've turned into my office is full of different shelves. I've got one, two, five different sets of shelves that are full of cards because I've been collecting cards for years. And um, so I didn't know like what type of reading spirit was wanting me to do or anything. I just felt that I needed to do a collective message now. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And I just like got some random cards. I'm actually going to use um, the deck that I'm going to use, the Oracle card deck that I'm going to use is actually the very first deck or I think it's the very first deck um, that I used um, when I did my very first collective reading for you guys. I know that it's the first deck that I used when I got serious about my channel and started to record every day because before then I was just kind of sporadically doing little readings here or there. And then I was like, you know what? I really wanna do this and decided to get serious. Um, and so this was the first deck uh, that I used uh, on that first video. So I, I was like, you know what, we'll just use that one and see maybe that deck has a message um, <clears throat> for the collective. And I wanted to use one of my Halloween tarot card decks, but I was like, you know what, I'll save that for tonight when it's nice and uh spooky looking with the um with it getting dark and i'm just rambling chatting right now because i'm just trying to like tune into the energy of the collective right now but if you don't want to hear me ramble you guys can go ahead and and go to the um go to uh the timestamp. i'll put a timestamp of when the reading actually starts um in uh, the comments so <clears throat> excuse me let's go ahead and jump into this and see what spirit wants to say to you guys today all right if you'd like to be a part of this part you can just visualize a healing light full of unconditional love surrounding you breathe that healing light in Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels. Thank you, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Angelic Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for guiding, blessing, protecting this reading, myself and the collective. I thank you for using each and every one of the decks of cards that I use here today as tools to communicate, bringing forth honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the greatest and highest good of all and to the harm of none with peace, love, light, and so much gratitude. So it is. Namaste. <clears throat> I slept with the fan on last night, like right in my face, and so I'm kind of stuffy today. So, <clears throat> so sorry if I keep coughing. Um, Look, we've got empowerment and lessons. So part of your... Um, 
Well, your um, contract, your soul contract uh, collective, those of you who are drawn to this message, in your soul contract, it is showing me, because this is what they were showing me uh, as I was doing the prayer. They were kind of showing me my own uh, shadows as well. Part of your life purpose is to go through these certain lessons and these repeating patterns and these um, relationships with like romantic relationships, friends, family members, coworkers, the people in your life. Um, you're gonna constantly be met with situations in your life or people in your life, whether they're toxic, non-toxic, whether they're helpful, not helpful, whatever it is, every person you come in contact with is going to be a lesson for you to teach you about self-empowerment from what I just seen. So you're going to constantly be met with situations where you're going to have to find your power, find your inner strength, and realize how truly powerful you are without um, um, taking away someone else's power. So it's like powerful without consuming someone else's power or um, over overpowering them, controlling them, that type of, of energy. But, um, but you right now currently are going through some, uh, some spiritual lessons. You're still learning these spiritual lessons that are helping you to grow. And with the celebrate though, your spirit team, uh, your spirit guides really want you to celebrate yourself and celebrate how much you've already learned because you know more about yourself and about your spiritual purpose and your, you just know more now than you did um, a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Your um, so they really want you to take time to really um, celebrate that. Pat yourself on the back for what a badass you are. Um, but right now you are in the midst of some sort of lesson, some spiritual lesson. But the, whatever this is that you're going through right now, um, it's something. Maybe it's, you know, a walk in the park. You know, maybe, it, um, and I'm not meaning literally, but maybe it's like something that's really easy for some of you. Others of you, this is something, some sort of lesson that you're going through that is more difficult. But whatever this is, um, this lesson is that you're going through, you're facing it, and it is, you're, you're evolving. Um, and it, so spirit just showed me the ten of wands in my mind's eye. So it may feel, um, you know, a lot of pressure. Maybe you feel like you are about to collapse, but spirit's like, look, you're at the end of this lesson now. You're about to have like a breakthrough. You're going to feel, start to feel fresh new energy, feeling inspired, looking back because that 10 then becomes a one, right? And ones are all about new beginnings. And the Ace of Wands is actually a card of, um, you know, potential, feeling inspired, seeing the potential in yourself, really um, having like these new ideas, new ideologies, you know, embracing new ideologies. <clears throat> and Spirit, show me clearly. Messages for... Look, change and faith round and around. I told you, like, you're going to constantly be, like, met with, like, these these um, people in your life. Or maybe it's a particular person. There is, like, um, uh, like a relationship in your life maybe that keeps breaking your heart. You keep getting hurt by this person. Or they keep, you know, just breaking your heart in general. Or this is just people in your life that keep hurting you, keep um, breaking your heart or situations where you're constantly like having to like look at yourself and, um, and really facing certain aspects of yourself. Whatever this is, this is something that keeps repeating itself. But all of that's about to change. You've been going around and around, um, and there's a lesson here that either you've either been resisting um, uh, to learn, or or um, you just haven't figured out 
what the lesson is trying to teach you yet. Um, but you are about to break free here. Like you're about to end some sort of pattern because you're about to get it. Um, cause we've got the change that came out with the faith. So like, um, um, spirit is telling you to have faith. Everything is changing. Um, and so it's like really letting go and, and, and just kind of letting go, embracing what happens next, embracing the, the um, changes and um, your journey and the evolution here that your soul is going through. Um, in the card here, it says, be willing to let go of what you planned to have, um, let go of what you plan to have, the life that is waiting for you. Be willing to let go of what you planned to have the life that is waiting for you. Okay, I get it now. Be willing to let go of the life you had planned to have the life that is waiting for you. So it's like, um, uh, what is that old saying goes? Life happens when you're busy making plans while you're busy making plans. So things here, um, life may be uh, kind of turning or like um, there may be some things that are happening in your life that um, they isn't going exactly how you had planned but also having faith that everything is going as the divine plan had you know it's like what what, what is it that god laughs when you when you um make plans or something like that too something along those lines but i really feel like i i want to set these to the side just over here spirit um what's going on for the collective oh damn some so some of you have been really waiting here on something you've been um um possibly um feeling as though like finances have been elude, eluding you or something that you've been asking for like you've been waiting for something here that you've been asking for um, and the spring card, it has this golden egg on it. So, um, so I'm really getting like you're waiting for something here to blossom, something to bloom in your life, whether it is you yourself, you're like you're with your, um, uh, on your journey here, um, becoming the person, becoming the person that you are always meant to be. Um, this again, like this could be like some sort of goal that you have. This is growth as well. Maybe you're waiting for some like a growth, like um, growing a nest egg. Um, uh, for some of you, it feels like social media, like you're waiting for like your following to grow. But um, your spirits like um, it, it. Yeah, it's like something here hasn't happened. And you may be like really looking for because this weight card really reminds me of like that three of wands energy i feel in a sense like a rebirth for you in some area of your life as well also too there could be something that you're really um you've been waiting for that um that could actually happen in spring all is well so spirits like look you're waiting right now for something to happen some sort of growth um or you're going you're enduring something in your life right now <clears throat> because we do have the endurance card but you may be like enduring something um that you're that may be a bit difficult or challenging but whatever it is that you're going through spirit is saying that everything is unfolding exactly as it's supposed to for you the that um you don't have to worry and think damn did i did i f up did i um should i have started sooner should i do this should i do that like and feeling like am i making the wrong decisions am i you know um uh, uh, should i be making better choices for my health should i be doing this should i be doing that um there is no should you should be and you shouldn't be like you are the creator of your life and you um are in your higher self is in charge of your life and everything is unfolding as it should 
and always would. So there's no need to worry, did I make the right decision? You will always make the right decision for your life. Because even if it turns out to be something that's not very positive in your life and you may think, damn, I made the wrong decision, I should have done that. No, you made the right decision because there were things that needed to happen to you um, as a result of that decision, even though it may have uh, uh, not turned out the way that you had hoped it, it, it turned out the way that it was supposed to regardless. So like if you haven't been taking your health seriously, for instance, I'm just using that as a, an example and you start to gain weight and maybe have health issues because of, um, overeating, you can't beat yourself up for that because you made those choices because that's what you were supposed to do the entire time because there was something that you needed to learn from being overweight and having those difficulties. There was something that your soul needed to experience from those decisions that you made. So your your higher self is coming in to tell you that everything is fine. There's nothing that you need to worry about right now. So just know that everything is a happening according to plan. What's the, um, is that the way it goes um, on the, um, what is it? The Corpse Bride. That song. Um, for they're talking about everything happening according to plan. Could be some travel in the store as well. Um, <clears throat> for some of you. you um, and even if you're not planning on traveling right now. There may be like talks of travel. You could be talking to someone long distance, a friend, a lover, um, family members, and t just kind of like talking on the phone about like traveling, like, uh, cause I'm hearing someone say, oh, you, you gotta come see us, or oh, I've gotta come see you sometime, or, you know, I can't wait to meet you. Those are, um, those are messages that Spirit's giving me right now that I'm hearing um, people say. I really feel like Spirit wants to tell you um, to to have some peace right now. We've got the third eye. Look, with the manifestation and the divine timing and inspiration. That's what I was picking up too with that Ace of Wands. I think I even said inspiration. I know I said ideas. And look, it says your ideas are divinely inspired, blessing you with creative insights to serve a cause greater than yourself. And that's what I was getting before we even started about the where you're going to go from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands and receive like inspiration, ideology, new ideologies, new ideas. There's some, so you're going to be receiving inspiration from your higher self. Um, and it's because even though you may not realize that, that these small ideas are going to, um, are big, are a part of a bigger plan. Everything is happening and unfolding as it should. And what is taking place is part of a bigger plan for you. So don't worry about the choices and the decisions that you make. Because everything is a part of a bigger plan. And you're going to see that. The third eye. You're going to see that in divine timing with the manifestation card. As everything starts to really pick up here you, it, and it's like you are really manifesting um, your dreams. You're manifesting rapidly your dreams, your goals. Things here are becoming a reality. Stay focused right now. Using your foresight vision here. Unblock and strengthen your third eye so that you may bridge the gap from earthly existence to spiritual realms here to bring in your manifestations you see the energy coming out of that person's hand I think I used that um, a picture like that on one of my videos not too long ago it was like a hand with like some energy 
uh, coming out of the hand. Um, some of you, uh, or not some of you, but all of you, you may want to go and get some, uh, some shoe horses and put over the entrance, um, uh, of your home, uh, I mean, uh, over your doorways. So like you can put one over like the, the, your front door, your back door, um, like different doorways in your home maybe over your bedroom door if you're wanting to get lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I cracked myself up. But um, seriously, they, they will bring in luck and abundance for you because you are actually entering into a very lucky time in your life. Um, and the chakras card, like I literally just bought some chakra cards because I want to be able to read y'all's chakras, y'all's chakras. Telling you, um, I want to be able, well, I want to be able to read y'all's chakras um, and do some chakra readings for you. So I literally just ordered some for you guys, so we could do those um, readings. I've got some, I've got some, but um, but these were just calling my name, so I got them. Um, so, and we've got the third eye right here. So I do feel like um, you guys are, there's a focus of like really clearing and unblocking your third eye so that you can receive these, um, your third eye, your crown. I don't, I think, look, crowning. I literally was saying your crown and then we've got crowning right here. So like um, it's for, with your connection to the divine connection here and that's that picture here of the divine of of uh man and spirit um so anyways i do feel like there's this energy of you really um focusing on doing things here to unblock because there, there may be like a, a, a slight block or an imbalance in the third eye uh, and crown or one or the other for you. Um, so spirit wants me to let uh, someone know that they have been seeing orbs. Spirit has been like connecting with you through orbs. You may be seeing like orbs like either... Um, uh, in your own home or like um, like in um, physical 3d reality like it for yourself with your naked eye or like maybe you're seeing them on like videos or like pictures or something like that and those are going to be signs that your loved ones are with you and they want you to know that they are surrounding you they are connecting with you and again with the birds butterflies sending you anything with wings um there is some resentment too that you may have either towards yourself or another person that they're saying it's time to let go of um because your um, this forgiveness that is needs to take place is affecting abundance. I feel like there may have been like some sort of legal something with the the law. Okay, some sort of decision um, made regarding the law, and it could also have something to do with finances. Um, and the law um, or like legal issues or things like that that has left some resentment in your heart and you may not even realize that you're still like holding a grudge towards this person or situation and so there is the need to like really forgive that let that go uh, so that with this soulmate card this soulmate is like um, a, a card of like attracting uh, towards you attracting love towards you abundance towards you and with that abundance card once you bring let go of that resentment and forgive yourself or someone else you're going to be able to restore peace here and also that is going to allow for you to strengthen your third eye and your crown chakra which will then um, in turn be able to help you manifest 
uh, more rapidly. So this could be some um, feeling, um, so like still some anger, resentment towards a person or a situation. This could be a lawyer. This could be a, 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 like a person you know. Um, this could be um, like either for yourself or someone else. This could even be um, like, um, you know, just anything that has to do with like documents or paperwork. Um, for some of you, this could actually be something to do with like jail or um, just like the law or the courts or um, uh, money that may be owed to you for some of you. Thank you, Spirit. Please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see for the collective. Look, the Three of Pentacles over here. So the so this is also um, growth as well with the Three of Pentacles. That's a card of growth. It's um, uh, for some of you. This is. Um, uh, like your spiritual gifts, your gifts and abilities here that you've really been putting in a lot of work on, learning about um, your own particular gifts. Um, also, this is um, uh, like if you do work for yourself um, with this Three of Pentacles, this is like you're going to be getting paid more, receiving more clients, you know, growing your clientele, growing your platform for for those of you who have like an online platform um or this is like um you know you're getting recognized here for um your skills and your talents and what you you can actually do and so like that here you are bringing in this abundance and prosperity there is a time of growth that is awaiting you because of your skill set because of what you can do and if this is at work, this is spirit saying, have faith. There is a shift taking place here. Things are changing. Something, you know, it's like this may not be happening as, as quickly as you would like. Or, um, you know, this may not uh, be happening as you had planned. But just have faith that, that this there is this time of growth that is awaiting you and it is happening as it should. It's unfolding exactly as it should. All is well. So look, all is well with the tower. Oh my God. So like, if you're going through like, um, going through some sort of trial or tribulation or just going through chaotic something very chaotic right now and it just kind of feels like the world is shifting or turning um, around for you um, and it's like feels like you're in some sort of storm right now spirit is saying that that this shift this change Everything, whatever this is that's changing here for you, it's happening because it's supposed to. And to really just find peace in knowing that whatever this is for you, whatever this tower is in your life, that it's happening exactly as, as it's supposed to. You have people like jumping out of windows and lightning striking. There may be some sort of something here shocking that's happening for you. Um, others of you, and I'm so, so sorry. You may have lost someone you love very tragically and you're not able to make sense of it. And I'm so sorry for this. Um, and... They just want you to know that they're fine, that they're well, that they found, you know, that they're at peace. And they want you to know that everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. Some of you, this is something that has um, recently happened. Others of you, this is, you, this is someone that you lost a really long time ago. And they're just taking this opportunity to tell you that it was shocking. And it may have, like, really just, like... 
caused you um a, um, a ma to go through like a massive upheaval like very very instant instant like this happened instantly or if it's something that didn't happen instantly it was still shocking nonetheless that this was happening to this person that that you loved very much and so they're coming in to tell you that all is well look <laughs> Don't blame yourself. Somebody here is blaming themselves for something, whether it is the passing of a particular person or you're just, you know, mad and find trying to find something or someone to blame. I'm getting to like um, some sort some uh, massive shift that you're going through in your life where, where it's like you're changing your beliefs is, is everything is happening and unfolding exactly as it should like this shift in your beliefs this this complete change in your beliefs um, and who you are as a person is is um, spirit saying that you need to accept this that um, as happening exactly as it's supposed to you whatever this like the, the tower can also represent like trials and tri uh, tribulations some sort of tribulation here that just kind of is is a bit difficult shocking revealing something here being revealed to you and just understand that everything is okay you know um, it's like um going through the storm being like in that the story of the bible where the um disciples are on the boat and the boat is crashing around and the water and the storm's going and and jesus is like you know um peace be still even through whatever kind of storm this is knowing um that everything is happening and unfolding the way that it's supposed to just find peace and accepting that whatever is happening is ha happening because it's supposed to and and find um, peace and wisdom by accepting it by accepting endings um, so that you can continue to move forward on the on the path okay so I'm seeing some stress I'm seeing some insecurities some doubt and some lack mentality okay um, here and so spirit is saying to unblock this um let me get a sip of water oh man i i didn't bring my water in here it's right in the other room can you guys give me just one second i'm so sorry it's like right here i'm right here i'm right here guys i'm just stepping in the other room real quick to grab my water i'm right here and i'm coming right back to sit down i'm so sorry you guys i just had to go grab it i had to run into the living room real quick And get my water I'm so sorry okay so the um, the five of Pentacles here this is a this is a card of like lacking you also may be doubting like your own intuition as well like second-guessing your own intuition you could be struggling right now going through some sort of hardship you know definitely feels like maybe um, struggle after struggle has maybe left you feeling as if like you're kind of left out in the cold here um or like you you're you, because you can't feel like you can't connect with that third eye
maybe um, you can't see how you are so abundant. So like constantly living in this lack um, mindset isn't going to help you improve or unblock anything here with your third eye. I feel like um, you may have definitely like really questioned your intuition, questioned your self-worth, questioned am I really receiving what I'm receiving? Feeling disconnected and blocked from your third eye. From spirit, from your higher self. I'm hearing that song, you're enough, you're enough, you're enough, I promise you're enough. I can't sing for shit, you guys, but that's what I was hearing. I feel like Spirit's definitely saying, too, to have faith that you 100% are very intuitive and, um, and so maybe there is some fears that that you're gonna get it wrong, you know? And also too, like unblocking that um, and strengthening your third eye so that you don't um, feel blocked out from the spirit realm. So that you don't feel blocked out from uh, the divine and left out in the cold alone, feeling alone and abandoned because you're not and you'll always be able to feel like fully supported as you unblock and strengthen that third eye because you are extremely um, intuitive. I keep hearing that song, You're Enough. You guys know what I'm talking about? I've never, I've only ever heard it on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know. You guys m m might go to TikTok and look it up, cause that's uh, that's the only place I've ever heard it. I feel like um, your your anxiety could be feeling a bit overwhelming too. I feel like your spirit guides really want to like wrap you up in a big hug <laughs> and it's like this anxiety it's so overwhelming like maybe it's hard to even know where to begin I'm hearing procrastinating so maybe you get anxiety and you procrastinate and you put stuff off and you get you feel this overwhelming energy and it's like your spirit guides want you to know that they see that the struggle is real for you And like figure out like how you can channel your fear and anxiety to like really help you move through this so that you can connect more with your third eye. I feel like I was, we still need to do it, but yeah, we've been going for almost 40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end that there. And um, I will be back later with another message. If you guys would like your own personal private reading, please feel free to reach out to me. I am offering past life readings. And it's done on a pre-recorded video, the, the one that's on sale. Now I do do them, uh, do live video calls. But the one that is on sale right now is the video upload. And that one is only $44 right now um, until um, the 1st of November. So if you're wanting to get 
a, a past life reading and get some information about past life, uh, a past life to help you um, better understand, you know, this current lifetime, then please feel free to reach out to me. My information is in the description box. And, um, and that is it right now. Yeah, and if there's any other type of reading that you wanna do, please feel free to reach out to me. I will also be doing another free 15 minute reading giveaway to one of my subscribers. Also, I am going to be doing a free Oracle deck giveaway. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, but this one might be one of them. A very dear friend of mine is a card creator and she creates um, Oracle cards and tarot cards. And she has decided to give away Want to one of my subscribers a free deck of cards and she's going to ship it to whoever is the winner uh, I believe it's going to be a deck just like this one. I'm not sure just yet Because um, there's a couple of different decks that we had talked about but I think this might be one of them and this one is um, and that's the T so, um, but I will let you guys know more about that when, um, when the time comes. So look, easily distracted. Some of you may be getting distracted. Look, scarce mentality. That's what I was getting with the five of pentacles. You may be getting distracted, you know, um, and, and being, and it's like, um, not able to like focused on your third eye because of this scarce mentality. Thinking a bit um, pessimistic about like your gifts and your own intuition and what you receive, you know, or about you as a person. Anyways, also too, easily distracted card number 41, which would reduce to a five. And so we just had the five of um pentacles so but that is what i have for you guys and um i will see you guys uh on the flip side i'll see you guys the uh, uh later on this evening and the divine in me bows to the divine in you namaste